There are, have been polls conducted, Gallup polls, uh, one poll called the Roper poll, where the results were extrapolated and sent to over 150,000 American GPs, medical practitioners. Uh, that basically said it's almost at epidemic proportions. They estimate that up to four million Americans may have had an alien abduction experience, as they believe. And then you've really got to wonder why is, it, why is the nature of it so deceptive? You know, if they're really here to help us, as some of these contacts claim, you know, why do they go around acting deceptively? Why do they stealthily abduct people in the middle of the night? And, you know, when I say it was confronting, there was some subject matter that was particularly disturbing. You know, people claim they've been taken onto a spaceship and probed in all parts of their bodies. There are sexual encounters. There seems to be some sort of almost ritual abuse that's going on. So you've got to ask, why would advanced, you know, evolved creatures, you know, kidnap people in the middle of the night and do these horrible things to them and yet, yet say, you know, we're here to help you evolve. And it's interesting that, you know, we'd like to apply, if you like, a scientific tag to it. But quite simply, it seems that these creatures claim that they fly millions of light years across the universe to basically deny the Bible, Christianity, and, and teach us almost new age beliefs. Why would advanced extraterrestrials come just to teach us religious messages? And it seems to me, and again the researchers will show you, that the messages being received are deceptive in nature. They will tell you things like, well, you know, we've come from Venus or Mars in the 60s. That was the messages. Well, we now know that's impossible. Now they say they come from Sirius or Orion or Zeta Reticuli or somewhere far off where we can't test those claims. And that's the problem. And some of the stories they've told us like that we know to be demonstrably not true. And if someone comes to you, Chris, and tells you a story and does all these things and says, I'm here to help you, but then does brutal things to you and then lies to you, then I don't think trust is a, is a good place to start. Let me just talk about abductions, because as I said, that's where I think we can unpick it. People that claim these abduction experiences say that little grey entities enter their room in the middle of the night and they see them pass through the walls, or they see them enter through the ceiling. And then these people who believe that they've had some real physical experience claim they're taken through the walls. Now you and I know that can't be happening, but these people are having a real experience. But the question is, is it really aliens? Now my conclusion there is I don't believe it is. all sorts of complex designs. These first appeared um, in the 19, late 60s, I think early 70s in the south of England. And uh, they were a pretty simple design and then they got uh, more and more complex. And some of the hyperbole that's followed these, and you've heard some of this stuff, they are so precise and so exact, they could not have been man-made. The stalks have been bent in such a fashion. They've not been broken. We don't know any technology that can do that. There's leftover radiation. The cellular structure of the corn stalks or the wheat stalks or whatever it is have been changed. We've heard stories like that. But in the 1980s, two elderly gentlemen by the name of Doug Bauer and Dave Chorley stepped forward and claimed responsibility for all the crop circles that appeared you know, in, the, in that early period. Now, they multiplied all over the world. So the first thing you need to realize, even though there are experts called seriologists, okay, serious field studies in this, that say that they're created by aliens, um, just average Joe Blows, like you or me, gathered that it could be made and they started replicating it all around the world. And Doug and Dave, um, when they came out and took credit for them, 
uh, they were debunked. Here's how they make them. You can go to this website, circlemakers.org, and that's how they make them. Look at this, folks, a plank and two bits of rope. That is the most common and effective method used by people all over the world in making crop circles. However, there is a sinister side to it. And the circle makers, and again, look for yourself, um, you go to their website, their name originally was Team Satan. And you would wonder why somebody would call themselves Team Satan. I mean, they're in this for business now. Obviously, it was politically incorrect and they changed it. But why would a group of people call themselves Team Satan? Well, when you investigate their website, you'll see that they say when they build these crop circles, they have all sorts of paranormal experiences. People have had healings. There's been um, radio interruptions. Lights have appeared in the sky. And so they don't believe that it's UFOs. They just think it is some sort of psychic or paranormal experience. I mean, for example, people, I was in Canada recently, I turned on the sci-fi channel and there was a woman channeling a message from an alien being. And she was saying through the, from this alien being that we've evolved to such a state that you couldn't see me. My atoms move so fast that if you were to pass your hand through my body, uh, if you were to try to touch me, your hand would pass right through my body. And so people are dabbling in some sort of what they think is some sort of pseudo technology when it's really opening a doorway to the occult. Ahí se van a ver vientos. Y van a una velocidad, pero... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 en la pantalla. Síguelo, no lo cierras. ¿Están a la misma altura este taller? Afirmativo. Un poquito, arriba, arriba. arriba. 8, 9, 10, 11, contando toda la cola. 2, 4, 6... 8, 10, 11. Ok, no sabemos qué estamos viendo, son unos objetos nada más luminosos que vienen a la misma altura que nosotros. 